guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So ngayon guys, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano nga ba kayo makakapag-add ng inyong tax info sa inyong AdSense account. So kung handa nyo nang malaman, just keep on watching. As you can see here guys is nag-email po sa atin si YouTube and yung sinasabi lang naman po dito guys is kailangan daw po natin mag-submit ng ating tax info galing sa ating AdSense kasi daw kapag hindi tayo nakapag-provide until May 31, 2021 is magdededuct daw po sa atin si YouTube ng 24% ng ating earnings. Siyempre ayaw natin na mangyari yon lalong lalo na sa atin ng mga small YouTubers or small content creators. So now guys proceed na po tayo sa ating tutorial. So, ayan guys, punta lang po tayo sa ating Google Chrome and punta lang po tayo sa ating AdSense account. And as you can see here guys, merong three dots dito sa upper right side, ayan na naging arrow na kulay red. I-click lang po natin siya guys para magawa nating desktop site. Okay? Ayan, kapag naka-desktop site kasi guys, mas makikita ninyo yung mga fill up pa ninyo and yung mga information, okay? So, may makikita kayo guys dito na add tax info. So, i-click nyo lang po yun. And, ayan, sign in na kayo guys ng inyong um, AdSense account and your password as well. So, dito guys, kapag kahalimbawa, magtatanong kayo, paano po kapag ka may existing account ako? Tapos, iba po yung nakalink sa AdSense ko. So, it doesn't matter guys kasi yung kailangan nyo lang gamitin is yung bagong account na nakalink mismo sa AdSense ninyo. Okay po, so after that guys is may makikita kayo dito sa baba na next. So, pindutin lang natin guys ang next. And after that guys is dadalhin po kayo dito. And yung first question niya guys is lalabas na. So, yung nakalagay dito is what type of account is blank. So, individual lang natin guys and i-next natin. And may question dito, are you a citizen or resident of the United States? So, no guys, lalong-lalo na kung nasa Philippines tayo. And in-next na po natin. And dito naman guys, nakalagay is, um, based on your previously selected answers in a W-8 form is needed. So, dito na lang tayo guys sa una kasi... This form is most commonly used in non-US individuals since non-US tayo na individuals. Okay, then next na lang po natin. And as you can see here guys, is automatic naman na malalagyan yung name nyo. And dito sa pangalawa is optional lang siya. And dito na tayo guys sa country. So, iselect nyo guys kung saan country kayo ngayon. And ayan, scroll down lang po natin and hanapin natin yung Philippines. Ayan. So, ayan siya guys. So, click or select lang natin. And, dito sa baba guys is merong foreign teen. So, dyan nyo guys ilagay yung teen number ninyo. Okay? So, i-paste nyo lang po. And, dito sa pangalawa is optional naman siya. So, leave it na lang guys. And, pindutin natin yung next. And, ayan guys. Dito is, yun yung nakalagay. And, permanent residence address. So, ayan siya guys, i-click nyo lang yan. Okay, so, ayan, fill up na kayo guys dito sa baba ng um, address line ninyo. And, yung ilalagay nyo guys, of course, yung mga information din na nakalagay mismo doon sa AdSense ninyo. Okay po? Ayan, so, fill up nyo lang siya guys. And, dito sa baba, sa address line 2, at saka yung sa baba pa, is... Optional lang naman guys, kahit hindi na kayo maglagay dyan, okay lang. And dito na tayo sa city, so I will choose Sorsogon kasi taga Sorsogon, si Sorsogon ako. Ayan. Ayan, Sorsogon. And of course, type din natin guys ang postal code. And yung province po guys sa baba is ilagay nyo din po. And i-check nyo lang guys yung box kapag kasame lang naman po ang permanent and mailing address ninyo. Then, my question dito guys, na are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under a tax treaty? So guys, i-check natin guys yung yes. Kasi para ma-reduce po ang ating payment, okay? Tax payment. So, uh, select your country guys. So, since nasa Philippines tayo, so select natin ang Philippines. And, check lang natin guys yung mga boxes dito. And, dito naman sa baba, dito sa special rates and conditions, 
Um, check nyo lang po guys and dito article and paragraph so uh, select lang po natin yan and zero reduce rate guys yung ilalagay natin okay so i-check lang natin guys yung mga following boxes yung pangalawa then yung pangatlo okay then after that po article and paragraph so click lang natin and 15% reduce rate ayan check lang din natin to and ayan Ayan na siya guys, and other copyright YouTube, so ganun lang din yung gagawin natin, select lang natin yan, and 15% reduce rate, and the last one guys is may box naman dito, so check lang po natin, and click na po natin guys yung next, okay po. And once guys na naklik na natin yung next is, ganito po guys yung lalabas, and as you can see here, nandito na yung mga nafila pa natin kanina, as well as meron siyang mga downloadable form, so you can download it guys, okay. And, scroll lang po natin guys, pababa. And, may box dyan guys, so i-check lang po natin kasi ibig sabihin lang nun, kinoconfirm mo na na-review mo na yung mga documents, generated tax documents. So, next lang po natin. And, dito naman guys, is ilagay lang nyo yung full name ninyo na nakalink doon sa AdSense. And, after that, may nakalagay dito sa pangalawang question na, Are you the person listed in the signature section? So, yes lang po natin. Then, ayan, proceed na tayo guys. So, pindutin lang po natin yung next. And dito naman, has the individual or entity identified in the tax identity section performed any activities in US? So, since we are not living in US guys, ino nyo lang and i-check nyo lang guys yung box dyan sa baba. Then, proceed naman tayo dito sa status change of David. So, may question dito na, Are you providing tax info for a new or existing payments profile that hasn't received payments or an existing payments profile that has previously received payments? So, yung unang option dito guys is, I am providing tax info for a new or existing payments profile that hasn't received payments. So, kung pipiliin natin tong first option guys, ibig sabihin, hindi pa tayo nakaka-receive ng payments. So, this is intended sa mga kaka-monetize pa lang kagaya ko. And the next one is, I am providing tax info for an existing payments profile that has previously received payments. So, ito guys yung mga nakareceive na ng kanilang payments from YouTube or AdSense, okay? So, since ako guys, kaka-monetize ko pa lang, that's why yung pipiliin ko is the first option, okay? And after that guys, kapag napili na natin kung anong option yung uh, the best para sa, sa atin, so, isubmit na po natin guys, okay? And kapag okay na guys yung pagka-fill up natin, is i-approve na po tayo. And ganito na po guys yung lalabas sa ating AdSense. And yun lang po siya guys, sana po ay meron po kayong natutunan. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga post ko. And your comments would be appreciated. See you on my next tutorial! Don't think.